Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Well, we have been uh, stuck in this pattern, and I don't think many people are going to be complaining about the pattern that we're in, with maybe the exception of the dryness that we're dealing with. We're not dealing with any drought-like conditions, but it has been uh, quite some time since the whole tri-state has dealt with any type of uh, beneficial widespread area rain. But we are dealing with these very pleasant conditions, uh, humidity not a factor anymore. We've got the temperatures feeling very reminiscent of those fall days, especially in the mornings as well. We've got the evening uh, shape up to be very nice as well. Temperatures already in many locations, as you see from our tower camera network, falling into the 60s. Some of the cool spots down in Central City already at 66 degrees and then upper 60s on the outskirts of uh, Henderson, where the uh, airport is just on the southwest side of Henderson. Here's a live look from the Henderson Strip from our Heads Construction Tower camera. Looks like traffic is uh, not anything uh, too big here on this uh, Saturday night at the 9 o'clock hour. That's uh, the US 41 Strip in Henderson and the Owensboro Riverfront looking like things are uh, very pleasant, very calm as well. Not a lot of wind. The, the river, very calm as well. That's our Bill Morgan roofing tower camera looking towards the east side of Evansville this evening. Uh, high atop of Deaconess Gateway Hospital. It's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union tower camera at the airport. One of the warm spots in Evansville sitting right at 70 degrees. Dew point in that very uh, tolerable, comfortable range at 61 degrees and wind out of the north that's ushering in that cooler air for today at least uh, right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Many locations like I mentioned, already into the uh, mid-60s, even some low 60s. Carmi coming in now at 63. That's the cool spot across the tri-state, the warm spot over in Owensboro, sitting at 71 degrees. No precipitation, as I just mentioned a couple minutes ago. We're not dealing with any widespread rain. We do have a cold front moving through that will bring at least a few showers uh, overnight really late Monday night into early Tuesday, but it's really the focus on the temperatures as we uh, see that cold front moving through early Tuesday morning. That's going to drive temperatures to possibly their coolest levels uh, so far this season. We'll touch on that here in a moment as well, but obviously rivers not a concern, holding very steady, uh, really no crest with the exception of the Little Wabash River over in Carmine, uh, cresting just over four feet tomorrow afternoon. All eyes still on the tropics. The good news is a couple systems that we have, while they are pretty potent, no threat to land. This is Hurricane Lee, which is currently a Category 3 storm, uh, could re-strengthen back into a Category 4. This is Tropical Storm Margot uh, that uh, is... Uh, really kind of sustaining itself the last couple of hours, but is expected to also strengthen into a hurricane over the course of the next couple of days. As I mentioned, though, the good news is the tracks from the National Hurricane Center have both of these systems, Lee and Margot, just basically moving due north. Now, uh, especially Margot, not a threat at all. It's going to stay out to sea. Uh, doesn't look like any landfall for Hurricane Lee, but it could get close enough as it continues moving to the north to possibly uh, provide some rough surf, maybe some riptides along the Atlantic seaboard. That remains to be seen, that exact track that far out. That's something to watch, but at least in terms of a, a big impact in terms of landfall, doesn't look like it's going to be an issue for Lee, but definitely a potent storm out towards the east. Here's the feature tracker shows. We're going to be staying quiet through the next couple of days until we get to late Monday evening. So tomorrow, really tonight and tomorrow, the eastern and southeastern half of the tri-state staying dry, but clouds are going to provide a wide range in temperatures. I think upper 50s tonight up to the northwest of Evansville, low to mid 60s southeast of Evansville where the clouds kind of act as that blanket. But the clouds move out. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. High temperatures a bit warmer than today. Day, low 80s across the dry state. Then clouds will be increasing through the day on Monday. We stay dry, but overnight Monday, that cold front moves through. And this is an updated future tracker that's a little more aggressive with the rain intensity and coverage. Others had this kind of drying out and a dissipating, giving us just a few showers into early Tuesday morning. You see, that's kind of a trend that we'll be watching here as we go into the next couple of days. Behind that, though, very fall-like weather. Tonight, though, again, upper 50s to low 60s from northwest to southeast. Tomorrow, right in that 80 to 85 degree range and your 70 forecast showing some of the coolest air so far this season behind that cold front high temperatures in the mid 70s maybe even some low 70s on Wednesday and check out those nighttime temperatures Wednesday night Thursday morning low 50s for a very cool start to our day on Thursday Hannah